Hey guys, so I wanted to go ahead and share with you the rubric for your pumpkin project because some of you are starting to finish up your books or have finished and wanting to begin on that slideshow. Um, so a rubric is a way that we go about scoring your assignment, especially when you've got some like, you know, openness about what you can do and how you can be creative. Um, so I wanted to go over the rubric with you guys and make sure you understand each part of it. So each of you will receive one of these. You've got the first column tells you exactly what it is that you need in order to get the points. And then you have the column here, the second one that says possible points. So that's the most you could earn for that certain um, item. And then in the last column will be where I actually put in your score. OK, or what you earn for that. So let's go over each part of it. So the first thing is the book. I chose a book that was on my level or teacher approved. Um, last week, you were given the opportunity to sign up for a booklet from the book list or to reach out to me and let me know which book you'd like to do. If you're one of those friends who did not choose a book and I had to assign it, you cannot receive credit for this. Um, so this is an easy five points here just by choosing a book from the list. Your title slide is also worth five points. This must include the title, the author and your name somewhere on the slide. You also need to include a picture of the book cover or a picture from the book, something that represents and shows us what your book is or what it's about. Um, your summary is worth 20 points. Now we've worked on summarizing. We've used somebody wanted, but so then. So this is a lot more um, points, a lot more weight. So you wanna make sure you spend more time on making sure this is a great, strong summary. I wrote less than five complete sentences. So we're looking at five or less that really show us all the parts. The summary included the main character, the problem and the solution. I did not tell the whole story. OK, so if you have all of these things right here done, you will receive 20 points. Anything that's missing kind of takes points off. Character trait with evidence. Um, I chose one character trait to best describe the character. I use the graphic organizer to display the information. You can use a bubble map. You can use a chart, really anything that was visually see it, make it easier for us. I quoted at least three details from the story that prove this trait. So you're going to look at things that your character said, things that your character thought, um, things that your character does, their actions, even what other characters say. But it must be quoted from the story. This one's heavy, too. It's 20 points, OK, because you're going to have to go back to the text to find your evidence. Please make sure this is a fifth grade level word. We should not say sad is a word to describe our character. OK, enthusiastic, excited. Um, we could use words like mischievous, but we have a list of words also in our Google Classroom. And if you need that list again, you can reach out and ask me. Compare and contrast. This one's worth 10 points. Um, I took a little bit off of it because you kind of get some choice. I created a graphic organizer to compare and contrast two characters in the book, or I created a graphic organizer to compare and contrast this book to another book we have read this year. Okay, it can come from any of our books that we've read thus far but you can use a bubble map or double bubble map and a Venn diagram. Choose one of those to help us see it. You can even do a chart and maybe have the certain title on one side, another title on the other, and then things that are the same in the middle. But this is where 10 points. Theme. I created a bubble map with the theme in the middle. I quoted at least three tales in the story that prove the theme. Okay, so again, going back to the text, to prove the theme or the message of the story. Remember, the theme is the message the author is telling us. It is universal. OK, so our theme does not include character names. OK, it's the message, what we learn from this story, what we can use in our lives. Review and reflection. This is worth five points. I wrote a book review that stated how I felt about the book. I explained why I would or would not recommend the book for others. Overall slideshow. I made my slideshow visually appealing to the audience. So don't just turn in the black and white paper. Actually add some color to it. Make sure that we can read it and it's um, legible. Okay, so this is worth five points. Capitalization, punctuation, and grammar. Each of these parts are worth two. I use capital letters correctly. If you're not using capital letters in the correct spots, you will lose points. I ended my sentences with the correct punctuation. Periods, question marks, um, exclamation marks at times. I use quotations correctly. We've already learned how to use quotations, so we want to make sure we're using them properly. I wrote complete sentences with complete ideas. I used academic writing instead of friendly technology writing. So using words like um, you as the letter, that's not spelling the word out. Okay, so make sure we're using actual school vocabulary and school spelling. 
So that's worth 10 points. Your pumpkin. I use details from the story to decorate and create my pumpkin. That's worth five. Flipgrid. I created a Flipgrid to share my pumpkin character with my classmates. So if you go on and you do the Flipgrid assignment when it's due, you're going to get five points. And then there's extra credit. So if you come to the meet on Friday, October 30th, and you dress up like your character, then you're going to receive an extra five points. If you come to the meet, you're going to receive credit too. But if you come dressed up, you're getting the whole five points. Okay? So you can actually earn 105 points with this assignment. Over here will be where I tell you what your total earned. I will also leave comments at the end okay, to let you know maybe my thoughts, things I noticed, things I like, things that you can work on to make it better next time. Okay, but a rubric is used to help you. So go through each of these parts and make sure you have them in all the parts in order to make sure you get a great grade on this assignment.